Hi and hello to our math wizards out there, to our math talinos. Welcome to our last lesson for quarter 1, week 8 for our mathematics for grade 5. And for this week, we're going to have estimating areas of parallelogram, triangle, and trapezoid. So are you ready for our last lesson? So let's begin. Okay, we have here our learning competency and learning objective. Estimate the areas of triangles and quadrilaterals. So we have the parallelogram, the rhombus, and the trapezoid using grids. So for day one, let's have our short and quick review. Okay. So we have here the examples. Can you find the area of the following? So we have our first activity. So for the first activity, you're going to find the area of the following parallelograms, triangles, and trapezoid. So can you still remember the formula in finding the area of these uh, shapes? So just fill in, okay, have the formula, fill in the length and width, okay, given in this uh, parallelograms, triangles, and trapezoids, and then follow the formula and solve for the answers or solve for the area of these shapes. Okay, so we have here the answers for the area of the triangles, uh, the area of, uh, I mean the area of the parallelograms. We have the 42 square centimeter and 96 square centimeter. Area of triangle, 16 square centimeter and 160 square centimeter. And for the area of trapezoids, we have 228 square meters and 210 square meters. Okay, so let's have our purpose okay, for this lesson. So you already know how to find the area of parallelograms, triangles, and trapezoids. Now you will be challenged to find the areas of the following new figures. Okay, so nawala na naman yung ating mga given length and width. Okay, at bumalik na naman yung ating grids. So in this lesson, you will estimate the areas of the following figures. So this time, you're going to estimate the areas of the triangles, the parallelograms, and the trapezoids. Okay, so but first, let's unlock our vocabulary for this lesson. So let's define okay, the terms that we're going to come across with um, during the length of our discussion. Okay, so same thing. The figures could be covered by smaller squares. A single square is a square unit, while the one side length of a square unit is what we call a linear unit. The length is the number of linear units of the longer side, while the width is the number of units of the shorter side. The area is the number of square units that cover the surface of the figure. A triangle is a three-sided figure. A parallelogram is a four-sided figure with two pairs of opposite sides parallel. A trapezoid is a four-sided figure with one pair of opposite sides parallel. Okay, so the triangle, the length of the perpendicular line segment from the baseline to the opposite vertex. The parallelogram and trapezoid, the length of the perpendicular line segment from the baseline to the line parallel to it. Okay, so for day two, we are now going to estimate the areas of parallelogram triangle and trapezoid so let's have the explicitation so now kindly identify the following squares if it uh, if these squares are fully filled more than half filled half filled less than half filled or empty 
So you're going to describe the following squares based on the shaded areas of the squares. And then later on, we're going to try to find the answers for this or have the answers for this. So kindly observe the following squares. And later on, let's answer. Okay, so first one, is it fully filled, more than half filled, half filled, less than half filled, or empty? Okay, same thing with this figure. How about this one? Is it fully filled, more than half filled, half filled, less than half filled, or empty? Okay, how about this one? Okay, so let's have the answers for square one. It's completely filled or fully filled. Okay, we have the description and then the answer. Number two, triangle in top right, less than half filled. Number three, small triangle corner, less than half filled. Number four, diagonal fill upward, half filled. Number five, triangle in lower half, less than half filled. Triangle in diagonal for number six, half filled. Seven, triangle in top left, less than half filled. Eight, diagonal top fill. Or diagonal top, half fill, more than half filled. Nine, it's an empty square, so it's empty. And number 10, mostly filled triangle. It's more than half filled. So this is, or this are the answers for uh, the previously shown figures. Okay, so let's have our worked example. So we have here figure A. We have kind of squares. We have fully filled, more than half filled, half filled, and then less than half filled, and empty square so what we're going to do total values of each kind of square for fully filled multiplied by one more than half filled multiplied by one and then half filled times one half and then less than half filled times zero and then if it is an empty okay, empty yung kanyang square we don't count it so so for estimation add the values of each kind of um, square and then the answer would be the estimated area so please try to figure out okay so how many of these squares are fully filled half filled and then uh, have the values of each kind of square and then add it up okay and then that would be the estimated um, values of each Add, okay, so add the value of each square and that would be the estimated area of the triangle, the parallelogram, and the trapezoid. So first, count the number of fully filled, more than half filled, half filled, and less than half filled squares. Second, multiply the number of each kind of squares with their assigned value. So for fully filled, multiply it by 1. More than half filled, again, multiply by 1. Half filled by 1 half and less than half filled squares to 0. And then third, add the products you computed to get the estimated area. Okay, so we have here the answer. Okay, so for fully filled, we have 4. Okay, so number of each kind of square. So for fully filled, th 4 and then more than half filled, 2. Half filled 3, less than half filled is 3. So total values of each kind of square multiplied by 1 is 4, multiplied by 1 is 2, multiplied by 1 half to 3 is 1 and 1 half, and then 0. And then add all uh, the values of each kind of square. We have the estimated area of 7 and 1 half. So ganun din ang gagawin para sa um trapezoid and parallelogram so that would be the answer for day three 
is we have another activity. So, estimated area. So, ganun din po yung ating gagawin. So, just go back. Okay? Kapag medyo nalilito pa, always go back to the previous slides or yung pinaka-conversion niya or yung value. Okay? And then, gumawa ng table para hindi malito. So, how many are fully filled? Half filled? As in half filled? Okay. And then, um, bibilangin yung squares and then add up or multiply muna and then add up to come up with the estimated area. Okay, so we have here the answer key. So this time, find the estimated areas of the following figures. Okay, so we have here the parallelogram, triangle, okay, and the trapezoid. So, ganun pa rin ang gagawin. So, bilangin muna yung mga squares and then pagkabilang, multiply doon sa binigay nila kung multiplied by 1. Tatlo lang naman yun. Multiplied by 1, multiplied by 1, multiplied by 1 half. Kasi naman yung isa is 0. And then, add. Okay, after multiplying, okay, add the product of each and then that would be the estimated area. For our learners takeaway, in finding the area of parallelogram, triangle, and trapezoid, how would you know when to count the number of square units? So, to use the formula and to just estimate. And for your reflection and learning, okay, group the learners. Okay, you're going to have a group activity. Okay, A teams. Okay, assign number, provide a cartolina, permanent marker. Okay, we're going to give an, uh, you will be given a task to make an infographics poster on finding the exact an estimated area of the parallelogram, triangle, and trapezoid. So, the infographics should include a step-by-step -step procedure with working example. So, you're, um, you will be given the assigned team and pairings. Okay, step 4, share your infographics with your uh, partner or team. So during the sharing, you would come up with reflection on how do, uh, how do you find the exact and estimated area of the parallelogram, triangle, and trapezoid. So they will, you will write a, refle a reflection at the back of your infographics. Okay, and for your day four, it's quiz time. You perform the following task and estimate the area of the following figures. Okay, so kindly check if your answers are correct. Okay, so that's it. And thank you very much for being with me for the past few minutes. And I hope you learned something and um, naintindihan natin kung paano mag-estimate ng area ng triangle, ng trapezoid, and parallelogram. So this is Teacher Isa. Thank you so much and have a great day. Thank you and bye-bye.